Hi, this is Scott Cartwright. And this is Dr. Rudy Cartwright, the MS Health Coach. And we want to thank you for checking out our video. We are glad you are here because it shows us that you are somebody that is really actively out there looking for multiple sclerosis information. And we like working with MS recoverers like you. We are going to talk about calcium and why it is a bad actor in multiple sclerosis. Before we do that, we want to tell you just a little bit about us. Like I said, my name is Scott Cartwright. I have a master's degree in public health and I work with people on their diseases all day on a daily basis. And I'm also the founder and creator of MS Health University, a site that um, I built uh, because MS affects me personally. My wife has MS and we deal with the challenges of that on a, on a daily basis. Dr. Cartwright again. I'm a brain surgeon and an expert in multiple sclerosis. And if you're wondering how a brain surgeon becomes an expert in multiple sclerosis, let me just tell you. I have over 35 years of training and experience. And during that time, I've seen my share of brain injuries and spinal cord injuries because of motorcycle accidents, car accidents, truck accidents, bicycle accidents. And it turns out what occurs in the, to the uh, brain and spinal cord over a short period of time occurs in multiple sclerosis over an extended period of time. Now why am I so passionate about multiple sclerosis and the recovery from that horrible disease? Well the reason being is my lovely daughter-in-law was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis while she was in the middle of her medical school training. Scott got on the phone and told me about it and I said don't fear, don't fear, I know what to do for it. So that sent me back to the library just to brush up and, on my research. And over a period of time, I put together a program for, uh, for her, which she followed. And I'm happy to say that she finished her medical school training, and now she is in the middle of her residency training doing quite well. So that's why I'm really passionate about multiple sclerosis and this kind of information that I bring to you. And that's... You know, that's why I wanted to leave. I just wanted to, you know, help my daughter-in-law out, and and I was, you know, finished. And then one day, Scott walked in one day and said, Dad, you got to sh share this kind of information with other MS recoverers. And I said, no way, no way, no way, no way. But he kept hammering on me and hammering on me and hammering on me, and I finally gave in, and I started doing uh, presentations and webinars and I've helped others who uh, needed help in terms of their multiple sclerosis and especially bringing good multiple sclerosis information to them. Now, here is a slide of my diploma from, uh, from a Baylor, uh, Baylor College of Medicine that indicates that I did my neurosurgical training from June 1974 to June uh, 1979. All right, great. Well, I'm glad I was hammering on you. I know you don't like the limelight, but uh, I think this information is great that you're presenting, and I, I'm glad that you that you finally gave in. So before we jump into calcium and what you need to know about calcium because you have MS, I just need to let you know that Dr. Cartwright is a medical doctor with over 35 years of training and experience. But the information we're sharing with you today is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as medical advice. Dr. Cartwright has not seen you as a patient and cannot give you medical advice. So whatever you do, please, do, uh, please be sure to consult your doctor before you make any changes to your medical routine. And with that, let's find out some great MS information. All right. It is great. But let me just tell you how I approach uh, bringing this research to you. If you look on this slide, let's look at the top of it. I give you the journal article of where the, uh, where the information appeared. I give you the title, and the, the one on the top is Calcium Dynamics in the Central Nervous System. And I give you the authors. And in the blue, I give you the main point, or one of the main points. And there is no doubt about it that calcium is very important in terms of the functioning of the human body and the human nervous system. No doubt about that. But as indicated by the second, second article, calcium can play a, a role in killing cells of the nervous system there, and other tissues. 
No doubt about that. And it's especially, especially uh, toxic when there is too much calcium around. And this is why you don't want to have that, that uh, calcium in excess because it can kill the nerve cells. Okay? All right. There are other reasons why calcium is a bad actor. Well, number one, for, for first let me just say this. I know you, you may be taking calcium uh, because you've been told you have osteoporosis or at risk for osteoporosis. Well, as indicated with this in the uh, top article here, they took calcium, but it didn't really reduce the risk. They found out that the risk of fractures were increased. And then the second article indicates that, you know what? When you take calcium supplements, or you have too much calcium floating around in your system, you have uh, increased risk of heart attacks and an increased risk of stroke. And so what you're saying from the top article, um, when you take extra calcium and, and you're diagnosed with oste osteoporosis, you're told to take extra calcium, but this says that it doesn't decrease your risk of, of a fracture. It actually increases it when that, you take higher That's correct. More that's calcium. correct. That's what this uh, study indicates. That's what they went back and looked at and said, look at this. They're just reporting what was observed. Oh, wow. So okay. it actually goes against what you would think. That's right. And it what you're told. It's what you were told. And let me just say this. When I uh, made other presentations concerning calcium, it was like I ran into a buzzsaw because everybody believes that, you know, take excess calcium supplement, 1,000 milligrams a day, and what have you. But the fact of the, you know, fact of the matter is, it's not beneficial. Okay? All right. So, what are the foods that have calcium that you can just go out and purchase and so forth? And I had this uh, slide put together, and again, you can refer to this. You come back to this slide, look at it, and this gives you th the amount of calcium in each one of these different foods. Okay? All right, and this, and this amount of calcium is okay to get. Yeah, you're getting it in your food. Okay, so the, the problem, you don't like extra calcium supplementation. I don't like it, but... You know, I, I try to stay within the framework of the science, and the science says if if you really don't go above 750 milligrams, you're okay. But I like to hold it at uh, 500 milligrams because I want you to get in the habit. I want you to get in the habit of eating properly. Right, right. And I said it's, I said you don't like extra calcium, but it's not a matter of you liking it or not liking it. It's a matter of what the research literature shows. That's right. right. It's, it what shows. It, it's, it's, it's what the research literature shows. All okay? right. Okay? I'm just bringing science to the table. Right. And then, and then you can do with that information what you choose, but the information says you shouldn't supplement uh, with extra calcium. And how much calcium is it that you should think you say you should get on a daily basis? I think you can, uh, you know, take 500 milligrams of uh, calcium in a supplement every day. But you can get it up to 750, but no higher. But again, if you're eating properly, uh, you, you should be okay with just 500 milligrams of uh, calcium every day. Okay? All right. And so that's what this action step says, that if you take a calcium supplement, no more than 500 milligrams, and that's in addition to what you're getting in your food. That's right. That's right. Okay, so... Uh, you can go back to that chart and look at the list of uh, foods that have, you know, that are good sources of calcium, and then stick by it. Stick by it because this kind of multiple sclerosis information is very important in terms of your recovery, in terms of getting rid of your balance problems, your getting rid of your fatigue, and so forth and so on. All right, great. So we hope you like this video, and, and if you like this kind of MS information, we want you to click on the subscribe button that's above this video. What that will do is that will alert you anytime we post a new video to our YouTube channel. That YouTube channel is MS Health University, and so you click on subscribe, you subscribe to our channel, and you get notified when we release more videos, and we're releasing more 
videos like this all the time. We love sharing this kind of MS information with you. So you click the subscribe button and you'll get the next videos that we uh, come out with. So until next time, here's to your health.